Hi, my name is Mike Mahan from the SMA Solar Academy. In this tech tip, we're going to cover the installation of the SunSpec certified shutdown receivers. These devices, when paired with US-41 models of the Sunny Boy or Core 1 inverters, provide easy, reliable, module-level shutdown to meet all of the 2017 NEC rapid shutdown requirements. In this video, we will cover the installation of the JMS-F device a SunSpec certified shutdown receiver element that has also been tested by SMA for full compatibility with the Sunny Boy US-41 and Core 1 US-41 inverter lines. Please note that only fully compatible devices are approved for installation with SMA inverters with integrated SunSpec certified shutdown transmitters. The JMS-F device works with modules up to 600 watts, 60 volts, and 15 amps. The red output leads are 1.2 meters in length, and all connectors, output, and input are true MC4. Please note that every module in the array must be equipped with a JMS-F device to meet all of the rapid shutdown requirements of the 2017 NEC. Installation of this receiver utilizes a module frame mounting hole that is centered 7.5 millimeters from the frame lip. The device slides onto the module frame, and the included screw and washer are used to secure the device. If there is not an appropriate mounting hole available, please consult the SMA technical note for the alternate mounting method. The alternate mounting method uses the included 10 mm screw to hold the JMS-F against the module frame. Note, if utilizing this method, the face of the unit with the serial number will face towards the module back sheet. Once the receiver is installed, the module junction box leads are attached to the short black JMS input leads. Please note the module connection must be made before the red output leads are connected. If the unit needs to be removed, the output leads must be disconnected first. It's important to remember that the SunSpec shutdown receiver will stay in shutdown mode until it receives the keep alive signal from the transmitter built into the inverter. That is, independent of the VOC of the module, the output leads will measure only one volt DC until the receiver receives the keep alive signal. While the individual unit barcodes do not need to be scanned and no discovery step is required during commissioning, it is recommended to document the serial numbers of the deployed units with the as-built diagrams. Once all the modules have been connected to their shutdown receivers and the output leads connected as strings, the strings can be connected to an SMA inverter equipped with a built-in SunSpec certified shutdown transmitter. When the inverter's built-in SunSpec certified transmitter is turned on, the shutdown receivers will allow their modules to operate, and the string voltages will change to the appropriate open circuit voltages based on the module type and number of modules in each string. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the installation of the SunSpec certified shutdown receiver. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the product page at sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from the SMA Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.